You never know what you'll find on the back roads of Northern California. ABC 10's John Bartell joins us to give us a look at his latest adventure with the otters. Welcome, John. And uh, where are you going to take us today? We're going to Monterey County um, and we're going to the Elkhorn Slough. So this is in Moss Landing. This is right on the coast and this is kind of a special area because it's sort of pleasantly infested with these these otters. And this is where we need to go if we want to see the otters. Absolutely, and these are very special otters, uh, and you can take a tour uh, or you can walk along a trail to see these. I chose to take a boat tour, and it is extravagant. Take a look here. All right. You're looking at one of California's largest wetland estuaries. It's home to more than 700 animal species and countless ocean-rearing plants. Elkhorn Slough. It's a protected research area near Moss Landing in Monterey County. So these lazy-looking creatures are called California sea lions. And by the looks of some of the animals here, they know it's a protected area. Can you, uh, can you talk about the, the smell that we were smelling back oh, there? Oh, yeah, that was crazy. I don't even know how you noticed that. <laughs> Andrea Hammond is a naturalist with Elkhorn Slough Safari. The, the sea lion is a very fragrant animal? Yes, definitely. Okay. It's Andrea's job to guide tours through the smelly sea lions and get them up close to the estuary's cutest animal. Oh, I'm going to stop now because we've got our first otter already. On the right side, otters are definitely a little more exciting. These are southern sea otters, and in a good way, the Elkhorn Slough is sort of infested with them. But I've heard up to about 140 is the population for the Elkhorn Slough. Is that which big? Is, that's incredible. I mean, that's the highest concentration of southern sea otters in the world. Now, 140 sea otters may not seem like a lot, but it actually is. You see, the southern sea otter has had a pretty rough life, and it's all because of hunters back in the 17 and 1800s. But unfortunately, it was a very profitable thing for fur traders to get hold of, and they, we really did a number. We brought them to near extinction numbers. The reason otter fur was so valuable is because of its thermal property. Essentially, the fur is very dense and very warm. How much fur does an otter have? An intense amount of fur, so I've read that it can be up to one million hairs per square inch. Sea otters were first given protection back in 1911. Since then, biologists have been rehabilitating the fuzzy animals, and they've been on a slow rebound ever since. There aren't a ton of southern sea otters in the world anyways. At most, it's about 3,200 animals, and their range is up north around Half Moon Bay, down south to around Santa Barbara. Andrea tells me the southern sea otter normally moves around a lot, but Elkhorn Slough is unique in the fact that these otters seem to be staying right here. Uh, let, let's see, and tell me, what, why, is, why is that concentration so high? Part of that is because the researchers from the aquarium, when they rehabilitated the otters, they were releasing them here because it's a really safe environment, there's an abundance of food here, so they've done really well here. Thanks to rehabilitation efforts, visitors have ample opportunity to see and observe the otters. It's really helpful to have a tool. So oftentimes they have a rock. They can even have a favorite rock that they keep in a little extra pouch of skin under their arms. They bring that clam up to the surface, they'll rest that rock on their chest, and then they smack it on their chest and it busts open and then they can save that rock for later and get all that good stuff out of the clams. More than 700 animal species call Elkhorn Slough home. It's a special place, a testament to conservation efforts and a safe haven for all animals, even including the smelly sea lion. From the otter-filled waters in Elkhorn Slough, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road. John, this is pretty amazing. That's pretty much our backyard. I mean, it's just a short driving distance. It's not far. Why are they all here in California? Oh, so so like I said, it, 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 these are southern sea otters in there. This is a research area, and this uh, and when they release the otters, they kind of just hang around there. They they've kind of made that their home. 
And this is kind of a neat area. You can actually go and you don't have to get on that tour boat. You can go walk along the trail. So it's can, free? Yeah, it's totally free. You can go there and get a canoe uh, if you have one or you can just walk. Mm -hmm. You take these pictures. And, and I actually spent like two days in Monterey County and I did many other trips. And you can see all of my other trips uh, on, on the Bartels Backroads interactive map. On oh, ABC I, love 10. It. I love the fact that you're bringing this to us here at your California life. What was your favorite part about the otters? Oh my gosh. Uh, so the, the fact that you can see them uh, pounding the rocks uh, oh. on, on the on the <laughs> shells and breaking these things up. They're, they're just they're just super cute. I don't know. what. It is. Awesome. Thanks for being here, John. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.